Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amberly and I own and run Does It Hurt Dairy Goats here in Yuma, Arizona. And this afternoon I was getting some outside chores done and I noticed that Ren was in early labor. So what I like to do with my herd is when I notice that ligaments are gone or super soft, I like to pull them in one of these smaller kidding stalls, get them away and isolated from the herd just a bit. Now the herd can stand right here next to the fencing with them so they're not alone, but I like to give them their own space because some of my does are just real big bullies and these first time mamas really need just a space of their own that they don't have to be worried about being attacked. So Ren's right here in her little kidding pen. I'm just sitting next to her watching her as she progresses with her early labor signs. I do notice that she has some mucus or what's actually more than just a bit of mucus. She did lose her mucus plug about three days ago. So she has been up and down just a bit so far. But we've still got a while. Oh, she's actually got some goo, some little slime hanging out the back. But we still definitely have some time. It's probably going to be another hour or two. A little pre-freshening udder is coming in. Let's see. A little pre-fresh udder. Sneak peek right there. It looks pretty good so far. I'm excited. Now, I know over on Instagram, I have a lot of Ren fan following. So she isn't registered. I've mentioned that to you guys several different times. I haven't registered her. I didn't like her mom. Oh, in 2021, I had a doe named Molly. So Molly's sire just doesn't throw the best improvements to his daughters. So I've noticed through other herds as well. So I was real reluctant to retain Ren because I didn't like Molly and I actually sold Molly in 2022. After her second freshening, I saw for a second time that there was minor to no improvements whatsoever to that udder. So I did move her on. She didn't work for my uh, breeding program, but I really liked Ren. So her sire is Zeus. He does reside here currently. I wanted to see if maybe using him as a strong udder buck would hopefully improve some things that I didn't like. So far so good with what I see with her pre-fresh udder. I'm hoping once she kids that it just pops a bit more. And then as we get into milking and into her lactation that it just comes into itself even further. Now I know what you guys are thinking, crazy goat person talking all about udders. You guys are here for the babies and I can't blame you one bit. So stick around, don't go anywhere, go grab a drink. It's only gonna be a couple of seconds for you, but it's gonna be a couple of hours for me, I'm sure. I'm hoping that I can get most of this filmed the best that I can. I've got some Henri girls that love to attack you guys on my camera stand and I am home alone currently. It is um, my day off and the husband's day to work. So it's just me and you guys together, but we're gonna get through this. some gloves on first. Oop, sorry friends. Hey, you didn't even give me a warning. I think you went up and down twice. Okay. All right. Starting with a water bubble? Are we going with a kid? Now I know a lot of people get upset that I use so many puppy pads. It keeps my stall pens clean. It keeps mamas clean. It helps keep the kids clean so that they're not on the bedding. And 
I paid for it, guys, so don't worry. Don't worry about how many puppy pads I use. I do rewash and reuse my cloths that I uh, wipe faces down with, but don't worry. It's my money, not your money. And uh, we're gonna have kids here in just a few, hopefully, short minutes. This was fast. I just put my knee in some pee. We have a whole entourage behind. You're doing good. You're doing so good. Considering I just found you like 30 minutes ago, girl, your ligaments were not gone this morning. <laughs> kind of just watch her. This is definitely normal that she's taking this long in between um, contractions. It does concern me that that fluid, amniotic fluid sac did burst, but we should be fine. Nothing to worry about. We've got all of our stuff ready and prepped on hand for when those kids arrive. My little nose sucky bulb. I think it's called nasal, nasal bulb, nasal sucker. Sucky, sucky thing. That's what I forgot was a trash bag. I always forget a trash bag. slide out with ease. <laughs> Literally, I guess. Another one, or are we good on two? Let me help you. Both still boys? Yep, both are still boys. Ren, are we done with two? Oh, they're pretty big. So it looks like just twins for Ren. Of course, twin bucklings, which I have no complaints. I really had no desire to retain from Ren just because she is unregistered. I wanna see how her milk production is, how her udder fully comes in. 
And I just want to watch her mature. So these two little guys, they won't stay. They will stay for a bit. But these two little guys will ultimately leave as a pair of pet weathers. And they are adorable. I think they're gonna do a fine job at being a pair of pet weathers. One on the right is so cute with that white overlay. Oh, so cute. I was convinced that was a doe. The mama and kids are just bonding. Getting a feel for their feet now. While Ren is currently working on passing her placenta, I'm gonna see if she wants some yummy molasses water, and of course she does. So all this is, is just a little bit of molasses in a bucket with some warm water. It provides so much more nutrients for the mama after giving birth. I thought I brought you too much. You're gonna drink this bucket dry. All right, she didn't leave too much behind. <laughs> Are you good? Was that yummy? We're just working on getting that placenta out now. Oh, Tilly. You drink it all, there's not any. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 